day five, and the attention of the entire nation, and indeed of Kenyans the world over, is still at the Likoni Channel. Yeah, the scene of the tragedy last Sunday. You know, this life is such that something happens and then it opens up a can of worms. And this is precisely what has happened yeah, to the Kenya Ferry Services, a fully owned government organization. Now, I've prepared quite a bit of super fascinating information for my show today. And as usual, we will talk about things that people are not talking about, at least not yet. And we'll also touch on issues that people are just talking about on the surface. We'll go deeper. Let me reassure regulars on this channel that I am not getting distracted. I am still very busy every single day, actually swamped, in an effort to make sure that you good folks always stay ahead. And thanks so much for the encouragement and kind words from some of you. Somebody has even coined Aisha Jumwa's, yeah, the Malindi legislators, catchphrase in addressing those haters of this channel. Somebody said, Ata waseme nini? Ata wajaribu nini? He channel si shuki ngo. <laughs> that was a gem. Anyway, let's get down to business. We have quite a bit to cover. But first, please allow me a minute to remind you of the super sweetheart deal <laughs> that I have going currently. Yeah, it's a sweetheart deal, but uh, there's no corruption. All that will happen to those who take advantage of it is that they will suddenly end up way ahead, yeah, bang in the middle of the Komekucha brand boiler room. Yeah, weekly intelligence briefs, club 1999, life membership, pop! All for a measly $29.99, yeah, or Kenya shillings, 2999 You can see the details on your screen now. And what is more is that we have extended this offer. Yeah, for a very brief period, up to midnight, Friday, tomorrow, 4th of October, 2019. Now, this deal is not going to be extended again. Yeah, that is the final extension. So, rush, don't procrastinate, act right away. And remember, when you take advantage of this offer and join both the WABs and Club 1999, you get all the back uh, videos that you missed, the sensitive videos, both from Club 1999 and Weekly Intelligence Briefs. Very riveting stuff. Unfortunately, we're heading to the weekend. Yeah, because this is not the kind of videos I'd advise you to view when you're going to work the next day, as I've said before. Because chances are that you'll end up a liar calling in sick. <laughs> oh yes, I'm serious, although I'm laughing. Wangapi wamejipata hapo, wengi sana. Believe me. Anyway, let's get down to it. Sadly, the mother and child who are inside that Toyota Isis are still at the bottom, somewhere at the bottom of the Likoni Channel. And today is Thursday. Yeah, this thing happened on Sunday. <laughs> now, you know we Kenyans have a problem. And this problem is being manifested yeah, in this situation. Yeah, can you imagine what kind of situation the family members are going through right now? The husband, they obviously want closure. And they deserve it. But it appears that is nowhere yeah, within sight. All because of this Kenyan problem. And what problem am I talking about? The fact that people don't know how to say I don't know. Let me find out. I'm not an expert on this. Yeah, Let's call in the experts. Very simple. But Kenyans know Juaji. They know everything. They're experts at everything. Can you fix my car? Of course I can. I'm an expert in fixing cars. 
Can you fix that pickup? Oh yes, I can. I'm also an expert in pickups. What about the lorry? Oh yes, lorries are. Uh, lorries ni mesomea sana mini professor kwa hiyo. Na bulldozers, earth moving trucks. Ah, kwanza yu ndo raisi sana. <laughs> my friends, my fellow Kenyans, you can't be an expert at everything. And what is more, there is no shame in using those words. I don't know. That's not my area of expertise. I you can be sure. Yeah, if you try and uh, pretend you're an expert at everything, you'll end up making a fool of yourself, looking like a clown. And sadly, this is the mess up yeah, somebody in the Kenyan government has done and caused our navy to look very bad. You hear somebody saying, there's no visibility there. Visibility is very low, yeah, deep in the ocean. And the reason this expert in quotes is giving is that there's a lot of mud down there, mud and sand. Therefore, we can't see anything. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Now, any expert, in fact, not even an expert, anybody who will do a few Google searches will laugh at that response for a very simple reason. Who said, yeah, there's light <laughs> deep in the ocean? <laughs> Who said that? It is always pitch dark. It's not a problem of uh, mud or sand. <laughs> yeah. Now, I'm a very patriotic Kenyan. And when somebody comes on national TV and says this, and you know the world is a village these days, yeah, I just feel ashamed because I wonder what people out there are thinking of Kenyans. What is so hard with making the decision? Let's call in the experts. Let's call in ocean recovery experts. Because when we are talking about a depth of 60 feet, <laughs> underwater that is very obvious call in the experts period and believe it or not some of those experts are in kenya yeah they're within the borders of the country called kenya and they're known yeah and there's no shame in calling in the experts if a fuse blows in your house is there any shame in calling in an electrician of course not and it is even safer yeah, than fooling around and making a clown of yourself, <laughs> trying to fix a fuse, and maybe getting electrocuted. In the same way, yeah, at the national level, there is no shame in calling in the experts. Now, very sadly, a few people who know one or two things about uh, deep sea diving have come online and are spreading confusion on social media. And the impression most Kenyans have gotten is that this is an impossible task. It is very hard, and therefore we're going to look like heroes when we do it. Gosh. Now, allow me to give you a quick example, yeah, which happened right here on the continent of Africa. On 28th November 1987, South African Airlines flight number 295 crashed off uh, the coast of Mauritius, yeah, right here in Africa. And most of us know, yeah, when an aircraft crashes, it is very important to get the CVR, the cockpit voice recorder, yeah, so as to piece together what may have happened, what uh, may have caused the crash. And the cockpit voice recorder of this aircraft was recovered from a depth, wait for this one, of 4,900 meters <laughs> underwater. Yeah, that's about 16,100 feet. Now, here we are talking about what? 60 meters. <laughs> Just compare. 60 meters, 4,900 meters. And this was achieved by calling in the experts. Simple. Now, earlier I talked about a can of worms, yeah, which is the Kenya Ferry Services. Now, here's some mind boggling information for you. Yeah? The MV Harambe, which is the ferry which was involved in this uh, particular incident was purchased in 1990 and not as new it was purchased second hand bottom line a second hand ferry has been in operation for almost 30 years and what is more <laughs> this is just unbelievable is that the mv harambe has been deregistered it was deregistered a long time ago 
from the Lloyd's Register. What that means is that it is not considered internationally to be seaworthy. Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, this is very sad. Yeah. When my home country, my mother country, the country I love, is made to look bad, I feel it. You know, over the years, there have been numerous scandals, corruption scandals, linked to the Kenya ferry services. Yeah. And maybe this is why they can't buy new ferries, or they can hardly buy them, and prefer to purchase second hand. <laughs> and it is very sad that we have to wait for a tragedy, like what happened on Sunday, for us to begin to look deeper into some of these uh, institutions of ours, especially the ones where the lives, the precious lives of Kenyans, are at stake. Now, some more information has come in about where mother and child were coming from at the time that their lives were cut short in such a sad way. They were visiting their farm in Likoni. Yeah. So sad. Well, the hope and prayer of many Kenyans is that this comedy of errors will be put to a stop soonest. Yeah. By doing a very simple thing. Call in the experts. Until next time, this is Chris Kumekucha.